You really got contacted by a volunteer monitor? monitor? No. No, um, we got a follow from a guy. His, his username was OO Will O. So, you know, I don't think he's an OO. <laughs> you, you can never be too sure, though. I don't know. We really do know, well, he's no longer an OO, but he was an OO, right, Billy? Remember that? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And that, what a surprise that was to me. It's funny when guys get off of that other radio service, you know, which we won't mention. Um, but it's BC backwards, uh, and they get on amateur radio, and they're like, well, everybody's got to follow the rules now. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, um, you know, you see to other places too, like guys that screw up and are, are in jail or have like problems with substances or this and that, and you know, they they just hit rock bottom, and then and then what? It's it's church stuff. Usually, that's another thing I see a lot. Well, you know what? Uh, having been involved in getting several people off of bad drugs a few years back, like uh, about 20 years back, I can think of one guy in particular. I still hear him on the air a lot on the CB around here. Um, I helped get him a job at a place that had drug testing. And he'd be dead right now if it weren't for that. So, you know, church, it's nothing wrong with church. There's definitely a higher uh, authority out there, like Hebrew National Commercial says. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what it takes to get people off of bad drugs, then so be it, because this stuff's not good for you. Yeah, yeah, but, um... The... All right, yeah, I don't know if somebody needed to jump in there before I, I could respond. But that wasn't quite what I was getting at. That, that is a good thing, but I'm talking more about the, like, you know, people, uh, drugs, bad example, just, like, not so nice people. And then all of a sudden, one day, they decide, like, yeah, church, you know, and now you're a bad person. Oh, you mean people who are elevating their, uh measure of themselves by putting other people down. That's a thing, Billy. That was more the, you know, where I was trying to go with it. Oh, were you thinking of anybody in particular? Never mind. I don't want to go there. Yeah, in fact, um, I, I've got an interesting screenshot from, uh, well, an Eham post about CB lingo and stuff like that from way back in 2003. I'm just gonna flash it up here on the uh, on the live stream here for anybody, uh, just because I think it'll be funny. There's a recurring theme of shirts out there that might see that looking at your feet. Let's look at your feet again. It's Twitch.tv/sniffmyballs, and look, I know the username sucks, and I know like. It, it's it's completely infantile, but whatever. It's a legitimate ham radio stream. I do cool stuff. Got my pan adapter, live view of me on the air. You can see my oscilloscope pattern as, during transmit. There's a chat. You'll have fun. Twitch.tv slash sniff my balls. And like I said, I'm getting ready to show this um, this post I found from 2003 on eHam about CB lingo. How do you, uh, a hypocrite and want to get people thrown off of, uh, uh Facebook and them because they talked about CB stuff? Imagine that. Maybe he's got a bad memory. I don't know. It's really not, not nice to have to call people out for bad behavior like that. But, um, they continue. That's the problem. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's funny because this, this post was made by a guy who runs an AM forum and kicked me off this forum for uh, saying CB stuff. How do you get your uh, scope screen to turn on and off when you uh, transmit? Triggering. 
kicked you off his forum, his CB forum? Yeah, here, I've got the, uh, the post I wanted to show up on the stream right now. Oh, that's in the public domain. You can show that on your stream. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I just kind of clicked on now. That's pretty neat. Yeah, check out the uh, the post in the middle there. The thread was name calling and CB radio. It's on Eham, dated 2003, September 17th. And uh, this, what's this guy saying? It's really amazing the heated tempers and so forth. People need to lighten up in there. Done that. I love to tweak the anal retentive. I'll drag into exaggerated CB lingo just to annoy those who can't take a joke and are too serious. It's only radio, not a religion. Signed. Uh, well, yeah, that would be Philip K A four K O E. Wow, isn't he the guy who runs the AM forum and kicked me off for? talking about CB stuff by accident, like, you know, in passing. It's weird. I don't know. There it is if for all to see, if you're interested. What did you say that made him upset? Did you, like, make a comment against CBs, or were you just talking about CBs casually? No, I wasn't even talking about CBs. I had just, um... I noticed in the rules it said like you will be banned if like no CB stuff, no CB pictures, no this, no that. And I had drawn, I was like, oh crap, there's a there's a CB in one of my pictures. Like I didn't even realize it was a picture of my push pull plate modulated 810 uh, rig that I've been building. And there was a, like a CB in the background on one of the pictures. And I was like, oh crap, I better take that down. And then I thought about it, and I was like, wait a minute, like every single transmitter I own works on 11 meters, like technically it'd be CB stuff, I'll take that down. I basically took down all my content and like thought about it, like I, I'm not in compliance with this rule, you know what I mean? So I took it all down and I was evaluating the situation and, and like there was attention drawn to it and that's when I got kicked for the CB stuff. Wow. Eh. I don't think there's any really big issue with uh, talking about CB stuff. In fact, I, when I uh, started out as a ham radio operator, it was before I, uh, it was after a friend of mine uh, got me into ham radio, but before I was just messing around with uh, 11 meter CB stuff, not religiously, um, just, you know, playing around, but uh, that's strange. I don't, I don't really see any issue with combining CB and ham radio as two hobbies. I mean, there's, there are two different spheres of ear, of influence, but it's just, uh, I guess there's a lot of negativity around it. Can't see why, but that's where I got my roots. I started in CB and then upgraded to ham radio, but I never really had anything bad to say about either or. KC3 FKR. Yeah, me too. If it wasn't for the chicken band, I wouldn't be here. That's for darn sure. And I think, uh, I think, Billy, that guy, uh, if he were truly genuine and uh, had his wits about him, he, he really would apologize to you in as public a place as he uh, put you down. But I don't expect that's going to happen. I think maybe he's got a... Uh, he's got some personal problems there, you know. Anyway, I'm going to take a break. This has been really fun. Uh, Daniel, you're doing great, and I know you're fighting with the latency of your system there. <laughs> and you're doing very well, even with that. But uh, the good uh, TR, TR system, uh, you know all about this stuff because you had people who have talent uh, along the way. And if you, uh, if you talk to Joe, please uh, send him my uh, best wishes. And I'll be listening for a bit. I'm going to um, go hit the shower. I'm going to have the shower radio on. It's a Sanjian... Uh, well, it's half of a Radio Shack and half of a Sanji and receiver that I put together. I found in my basement floor. Um, and I'll be listening to you guys on that. So don't say anything bad. 
because it's got a lot of phase noise. Thanks again. W2 very weak, and I might be back later. W hey, Dave, uh, real quick. Can you copy me? Yeah, Bear, I hear you. Uh, Dave, real quick, just I just want to respond to something you said. Uh, I agree you should apologize, but uh, in fact, and I don't know if you know this, he hasn't apologized, and I can't publicly release like the contents of what he said in this PM but he PM'd me on Facebook and basically let me know like you know I hear you on the air if you continue what you're doing I'm gonna get you banned off of uh, you know additional AM forums and QRZ he mentioned QRZ specifically um, and I'm not sure if like his buddy is the moderator there or whatever but yeah that was a, a little nasty gram I got from him what was that like three Three weeks ago, when I started getting vocal about this, W2BTK uh, onto Bear. That's awful. Wait a minute. Are you talking about classic? And if so, was it Philip or, or another moderator, another admin? I spoke to Philip about you when you were booted a short while later, and you are welcome to rejoin. If you let me know, I'll get you approved. I'm completely banned. I can't even visit the URL when I'm logged in from Facebook. He's got me, like, completely locked down. But what were you going to say, Dave? And yes, uh, Philip, there, Bear. Oh, never mind. Bear's got some good content. You do your thing. Hey, Bear, what'd you do? You fixed something there, man. You're loud at night. You're like, you got a nighttime signal on here, man. I think you got some super secret crap going on. That's not a valiant. Bye, W2VW. Yeah, it's just a tie. Yeah, good it's just good conditions tonight, Dave. Uh, yeah, if, if you want me to fix that for you, I can fix it. Just just be low key for a couple of months. I think that, you know, you're dealing with a with a, a well. He's a four. He's from four land, and he's in the military. He works for the military. He's, a, you know, he doesn't share our sense of humor. You know, so you have to keep that in mind. But if you want to get back there. Uh, you, you let me know on Facebook. You know, you know who I am on Facebook. I will arrange it because I spoke to him about you. I said, you're okay, you know, and you'll be a good boy if he'll let you in. So I can fix it if you want. You have to just, you know, you know, be calm for a while. And then, then, you know, people get to know you. How about that? You got peeps. Well, that would be cool, Bear. Um, you know, but he would have to... He didn't just ban me. He, like, completely wiped me from even being able to... If I search on Facebook for Amplitude Modulation Classic, it doesn't even come up in the search results. I have to log out, and then I can search, and it comes up. And, it, you know, I can see uh, whatever you can see as a public person. They've recently changed it to a, a private group where you cannot uh, see anything. Uh, from a public view until you've been approved to come on there um, by them. Yeah, I know all that. So, like I said, shoot me an email with your Facebook log on and I'll talk to some people and get you unbooted. You know, you've been in the bin for a while and I'll get you unbooted and just, you know, promise me you're going to be a good boy and make nice with these people until they get to know you. Billy, I and show them your uh, unclipped Cobra 29 LCD. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'm past... I'm, I'm just not going to say anything, Bear, because I'm past the point of being nice. Um, it's not about, you know, he's, he's a military guy and he doesn't know me in this. No, he's causing problems on the Internet actively. He's a troll, um, straight up. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not dance around it. But anyway, I, w I would like that if you would uh, unblock me. At least then I can read some of the posts. Not that I'm interested in ever posting there, but, you know, that, that would be nice to be, you know, welcome in there. Um, I feel like, you know, j getting rid of people just because they uh, have used CBs in the past is, is just a crappy thing. So that, that, that would be nice. And I will send you an email with my Facebook login uh, username. Yeah, I got an idea here, Billy. I got a really good idea. I think we need to start a new hashtag. Hashtag, I'll right, see you later. TK. For, 
free PTK. Yeah, yeah, that's trending right now. Hashtag, I stand with PTK. So, what if we, um, there's got to be something that, uh, So you were mentioning maybe